Guys, uh, welcome to section uh, 10 in the Australian Standards. We're going to be covering uh, everything to do with column design. So first of all, a few, uh, few points from 10.1 to 10.2. A column shall be designed for minimum bending moment about the principal axes of 0.05D. So uh, looking at both directions of the column or both axes multiplied by the uh, applied force. So this covers any imperfections that are likely to happen at some stage during construction. Also, brace columns are resisted by components such as masonry infill panels, shear walls, or lateral bracing. So if it's got any of these components, it can be deemed a brace wall. And also for short columns, uh, bending moments due to slenderness can be taken as zero, as there is no secondary moments applied on the column. It just gets strength from the individual cross sections. That's for sure, Colin. So looking at the commentary in section 10.1 to 10.2, uh, it says secondary bending moments are produced in slender structures. So for a slender structure, the building might uh, sway a bit more as a whole, putting extra moments in the individual column, and that's where the uh, the moment mo uh, modification factor may come in and account for these moments. A short column is further to, they say, A on the interaction diagram. So looking at here, and we're going to get into the interaction diagram a bit later, but we have the shorter column further up the diagram, therefore being able to take a larger, greater actual load, and slender columns are further along the, the diagram here, taking less of a load. Also, uh, secondary moments are a second order analysis, often to refer to as the P delta effect. So as the, the column sways a little bit, there'll be a force going down and then a moment uh, created on its own axis. Also, secondary moments from actual force and lateral deflection are accounted for using the moment modification factor, which we'll get into.